for the first step, we're going to head over to search and then type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to look for anything that says Valorant or Riot Games on it. You might need to scroll down to find it, but once you find it, you want to click on it and then click on End Task. And then once you do that, you want to head over to the Details tab and you want to do the same thing. So anything that says Valorant or Riot Games on it, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. For the next step, we're going to head over to Search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as Administrator and then click on Yes. Once on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush dns and click on enter. Once you do that, we're going to type in netsh space windsock space reset and click on enter. Now it's going to ask you to restart the computer, but don't do it yet. Do it after you complete the next step in the video. For the last step, we're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to click on any service and click on V on your keyboard, which will take us down and you want to look for VGC. I don't have it because I haven't got Valorant on this computer, but once you find VGC, you want to right click on it and then click on properties and then make sure that the service status is running. So you want to click on start. And then when it's running, you want to change the startup type to automatic and then click on OK. Once you do everything in this video, restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.